you forecast a positive Q2. What have you seen in the month of April and now in the first two weeks of May in terms of um, sales of your electric scooters in, in China that gives you that positive outlook for Q2? Uh, well, thank you. Thanks, Arjun, for uh, giving me this opportunity. Obviously, I think the, uh, the COVID-19 outbreak actually impacted our business in Q1. Uh, but during that time period, we actually, we, uh, the whole company, we prioritized on the health and safety of employees. And actually, we took very quick measures to actually mobilize the company to make sure our operation is less disrupted. So that allowed us to quickly turn into our new product, M- M- MQI2 product, um, in the market in May, and also I, we, we observe a fast recovery in China where we start to see double-digit growth in our retail sales in China, <clears throat> uh, both on scooter sales in April as well as in May. So that actually gives us, give us a high hope in terms of the, uh, you know, the, really the, uh, the bright future for the Q2 as well as Q3. I mean, also more importantly, as we're looking at uh, this, you know, during the this, uh, pandemic, people understand. You know, we, we see the surge demand on what we call individual mobility solutions. <clears throat> people actually look at more uh, a individual solutions, uh, commuting solution to travel around city and make it travel much safer. So that demand actually gives us a high hope in terms of the market we're in, which is we're a leading provider of the smart urban mobility solutions in China and globally. Uh, The positive outlook for Q2, I mean, but the danger here, of course, is what we've seen is this uh, coronavirus pandemic spread globally into your international markets too. many of those markets under some sort of lockdown, partial lockdown as well. What kind of impact are you expecting that to have uh, on your sales going forward? Um, uh, To be honest, it actually does have a big impact. Actually, in our Q1, our Q1, our international sales actually jumped about 6%, actually the month of January and February was actually a huge growth, but then we saw a sharp decline in March, and we're going to continue to see a decline in, uh, in April and May. Primarily, as you mentioned, we see our main markets like Europe, uh, United States, are still uh, in the major part of March and also April are still locked down. Uh, but the good news is actually in many of those countries like Germany, Italy, France, they start to lift the ban and actually start to allow shops to open. Uh, that's one good news. Second news actually is, I think, this new behavior of social distancing become a social norm. And actually, people prefer individual travel devices. Actually, we believe that as soon as people try out the electric scooters and they realize how, you know, the advanced technology and also the style and also the freedom, freedom that this individual device, individual travel device offers, actually, you know, long run actually will increase our total addressable market. Uh, obviously, in the short run, in the next few months, we're going to see we're still going to see a bit of suffering due to the lockdown and due to actually a sluggish retail.